Memorex. The cheerleaders were acting weird, so everybody went to Maddie's house. The kids got a gift from the cheerleaders, and Maddie had a very bad day. Her friends tried to comfort her, but she ended up getting drunk. But the real question here is, are there a nest of spiders in her basement? I guess we're about to find out next time on Rememorex. Uh, this is Driller Killer Cut 5, The Critter. Okay, so, uh, it is a gray, sullen Wednesday morning, October 12th, 1983. And Maddie Ramis wakes up to the worst headache that she has ever experienced in her life. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh no! Oh jeez! It just the light is too bright. Everything is just pounding. There's noise from like outside. You hear somebody raking leaves, but it sounds like he's like raking your skull. And you just you hate everything. Pain. Your grandmother comes in. Rise and shine. Uh. Mm hmm. Yep. You got to go to school, kid. Oh, I missed a test yesterday. Yeah, you gotta go to school. I have to go to school, and I have to do a test. You made a terrible mistake last night, didn't you? I did make a terrible You're mistake. You're never gonna do that again, are you? I'm never gonna do that again. Yeah, that's right, that was, kiddo. That was not worth it. All right, well, I guess I don't have to send Otis up here with the symbols. And you hear him drop two symbols downstairs and go, Ow! Ow, man! Ow, jeez Louise! Clang, lang, 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 Yeah, they're doing that. Uh, you, uh, the, the only thing that is in any way providing you with any will to live is the smell of scrambled eggs coming from downstairs. Oh, is that eggs? Yeah, you're going to need them. <clears throat> and your grandma leaves the room. <laughs> Maddie feels terrible about disappointing her grandmother. But, uh, she, um, gets up, puts on clothes very slowly. <laughs> By the time you get down to the kitchen, like, um, Otis is there and he has one symbol because your grandmother has hidden the other on top of the fridge. Uh, and he's just waving the one symbol and sort of hitting it with his hand. So it's making this weird kind of wump noise, which is not pleasant, but it's not as bad as it would have been if he had two. Where, where is everybody? They went home. Oh. Just digs into eggs uncomfortably. Your grandmother, yeah, puts a pile of scrambled eggs and then a pile of hash browns on the plate in front of you, and it's the best thing you've ever had in your life. Oh, these are so good, Grandma. Actually, right. I'm calling Nanny. Okay. These are so good, Nanny. So, uh, I'm not going to be there in college. <laughs> what are you trying? Are you just, a, you just think I'm going to get drunk a lot in college? Now you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to be drunk again. I didn't want to no, be drunk No, you yesterday. don't. Remember what you just said. I didn't well, want to be drunk <laughs> That's drunk a nanny night. lesson. And I didn't realize nanny, that... Nanny <laughs> I didn't realize that that... That, that much alcohol would going. get me drunk. Yep, any amount, even a drop or two. So stay away. Even a drop? Even a drop will result in a headache like you've never known, and Nanny won't be there to make you scrambled eggs and hash browns in the morning. The next thing she does is is put a can of Clamato <laughs> in front. Clank. I, I think it's just V8. I don't think they have Clamato yet. Unless she's adding the clams she's, herself. Uh, she's doing it herself. Uh, in that All case, there is a putrid mixture. Because she just, yeah, she took like canned clams and canned, uh, and just poured it into a... Not the clams! Clam. I don't want this! <laughs> well, do you want that or do you want a really bad headache for the rest of your day? Um, just hold your nose and drink. Glug, glug. <laughs> Uh, oh. lowest passive oh. trait. Okay. <laughs> that's, 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 that's an 11. Okay, I can't, I can't count. 
I, I don't know how to do math. Count up the stupid. nine. No, you definitely wanted yes. an 11. It's a, a, a nine, you, you wouldn't have kept that down. <laughs> With an 11, you can sort of force it down, and Otis is watching and just waiting like, yes, come on. Oh, she didn't puke. And he goes back to his, you know, thing with the... Can you stop with the symbol? <laughs> okay. He just rolls it down the stairs into the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Your headache has come back. Your grandma just grabs him. All right, put your pants on. You're going upstairs. Stop messing with your sister. She's had a rough enough morning. Mm, how is this headache going to go away? Well, I have given you the old family recipe. And that should take care of you for a little bit. Are my parents really getting divorced? We'll talk about that when you get home from school, sweetie, okay? I have a more important question for you. Mm-hmm. What is this in the sink? What's what in the sink? There is some sort of bug in the sink. Is it a cricket? Um, yeah, big one. It's got, like, weird black and white <laughs> stripes. It's... Oh. I think that's Otis's pet. Ah, uh, of course. Um, you should call to, oh, dad was working on a cricket trap. Okay. Well, I'm just going to take this Dixie cup and put it over the, I mean, he's, he's strong, isn't he? He just climbed right out from underneath that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to school. <laughs> there is a black and white cricket in my Sink? That does not bode well. Um, okay. We, let's go to school. Well, uh, Maddie gets her backpack and she is ready. Alright. <clears throat> A few minutes later, um, you're pulling up in your, uh, your grandma's, uh, bright red Oldsmobile in front of the school. You come out and, you know, it's the usual sort of flood of junior high school students um, all gathered in front of Dr. Elias Thorne Junior High. You see Lauren uh, among one of the larger crowds. Uh, Lauren, you got in a few minutes before and, you know, there's the, like I said, the usual clusters. But you notice there's a really big clump of kids around, like, you know, they... The, the usual meetup spot, like so near the, the bike rack and the and the flagpole. And you were sort of starting to head over there when you see Maddie getting out of her, her grandmother's car. But looking miserable. Yeah, she looks like hell. She looks really sick. Okay, Maddie, you were really rough last night. Are you sure you should be in school today? I have to make up a quiz. You can always, like, it's not your fault that you no, missed it yesterday. I have to make up a quiz. I... I should have been there yesterday, because then, you know, because otherwise, then I bet, what if Raider and, and Isley failed because they couldn't copy off of me? Then it's my fault if they get a bad grade. No, it's their fault for not having studied. But that's, like, the whole thing, is I do it on the quiz and everybody copies off of me. And then if they can't copy off of me, how? What if they? What if they fail? And then it's my fault. And then everybody hates me. How do you think I get through the tests? I don't cheat off of them who cheat off of you. I actually do my work and I actually do things. They yeah, kind, they kind, they just fart around and then they rely on you. But it's not even like just them. It's like um, half the class. Yeah. It's not. It's not your responsibility to let them all be lazy. Mm, that's the only reason people like me. No. People like you because you're fun. You like me because I'm fun. Yeah. But that's not why most people like me. Most people like me because they can copy off my my answers on tests. Yeah, but I'm not a loser. It's, it's not why Raider and Isley like me, but that, you know, they're my friends, so they, I like helping them get... They can be, be, they they can be better. They're nice. They're nice. I know. I like them too. <laughs> Just... the boys. They're kind of dumb. Smart boys in our class. Yeah, they don't cheat off you, do they? I guess not. Like, like uh, Aki Ackerman never cheats off me. 
Yeah, and he likes you just fine, even if he's kind of a spaz. As you say that, he goes <laughs> running past uh, with his lunch uh, held high over his head. I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! And he looks down into the lunch and looks up at the group that is clustered in front of you. Peach! It's Peach! What? And he's all like, Peach! Peach! All right! Peach versus Cherry! Peach versus Cherry! And everybody's, they're clearly taking bets on lunch treats. I'm going to walk over to Aki and be like, uh, what, what's going on? Why is everybody yelling? The races have begun. What races? He motions for like the center of the group of kids, um, and closer to the center, you can see that uh, um, there are two kids sitting like they're they're like crouched down on the concrete, um, and there's like two like little plastic things in front of them. Uh, Isley and Raider are standing like a lot closer to the action. The richest kid in school, Simon Dukakis, has <laughs> it's true. a uh, he has a little like yellow curved plastic thing in his hands, and he's sort of turning it over. Uh, and sitting across from him is uh, the the gross kid. Um, his name is Donnie Kelso, but everybody calls him Pink Eye because he gave everybody a, in school Pink Eye about uh-huh. a year ago, and you don't live that down. Very quickly in junior high school. Mm. And Raider and uh, Isley are talking to Pink Eye Kelso about this. Like, he has a blue, whatever this little curve thing is. And he's like, I'm going to go with the AT-AT driver. I think it's heavier. What you two are looking at, he's holding a blue Tron light cycle. It's... It's cocked open, and a thing that he and Simon p- figured out last weekend is that they have those little like ripcord things. Mm, yeah. So they go mm. like the wheels, and they'll 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 race. Oh, all right. But you can actually fit any sort of three and three quarter inch figure in there. So they're now racing based on like what can we put in there to increase the weight. Like it's mm-hmm. it's kind of become like a thing that the kids have started betting on. And he's looking at, he has a, uh, he has a AT-AT driver figure and he has a, uh, Maximilian from the Black Hole. The, yeah. The, the red robot. And he's looking at both of them. Well, honestly, Max is going to be much heavier. Yeah, but I can't get him to fit because his legs don't bend. And he sort of shoves it in there. He's like, I can't. Well, open it doesn't... the legs a little bit and then just pull them down. No, see, he doesn't fit. He, he needs to be able to sit up. But, like, maybe if I just sort of broke him and put the pieces in. That should work. Yeah, that'll work. And, well, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we need a judge. So I don't think Simon's going to be okay with us using a broken figure. Simon is, of course, using the figure that the thing came with that he just got this morning. Of course. Like, oh, yeah, this is a, this is the Tron figure. Goes in the light cycle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, hey, Isley. Yeah, do you have any of those nerd figures, the, the pewter ones? Oh, that would be good. Can you, find out a, you can get a, if you have any of them, which you might have. It's going to be a lot of weight and a little, little bit of room. I drop point. Let me see. Um, a couple of the other, like, uh, 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 jock kids have sort of clustered around Simon, and Chris Egan is looking back and forth between the two light cycles. Simon puts his hand up and says, Okay, Chris is going to be the judge. And Pink Eye Kelsa just, his, you know, he sort of sinks because clearly Chris is already like very much on Simon's side in this. Um, well, why don't we find someone who's more intermediate? Someone who wouldn't pick either side. What do you have in mind? Well, I mean, in the end result, why not Maddie? She really cares about more than anything science. This is science. Chris looks sort of sideways at Maddie. She looks really sick. I'm fine. Are you okay, Maddie? 
I'm okay. She'll be okay. I'm probably okay. You look green and you smell like clamps. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, God. He's not at all. Just completely red. I'm fine. Stop looking at me. I don't know. She's, she's team pink eye. I don't think we can trust I don't, her. No, I'm fine. I'm, look. All right. He's right. I, Simon points at Lauren. How about Lauren? She's good at sports, but she's a girl. So she's kind of got a foot in both camps. And she hates us. Hmm. I mean, to be fair. What do you say? I just want to see who wins. Like, let's see which one of y'all are smart. You know? Well, Kelso sits down next to the, uh, the, the flagpole. Okay, so can I break a figure to fit it in there if I think it's going to help? With the weight? Only if you feel like you need to break a figure for it. This hurts even in my fantasy. He cracks the Maximilian figure in half and shoves it in there. (laughs) Kind of mashes the top down. I don't know if it's going to close anymore, but it's got good weight. And he sort of hefts it. I'll allow it. She'll allow it. You see that the, the... there's a bench right there by there, right? Yeah. I'm going to step on top of... Yeah, and, uh, and at this point, uh, like, a couple of the other, like, uh, uh, sports kids are gathered, so Cappy Rowe is sitting next to you. And... Are you sure about letting him break stuff and play? Because he's just going to fill it with dirt, make it heavier. I mean, if that's what he wants to do, he may not get the most run for it, but, like, if we don't let them do most things, it's not going to be very exciting, is it? Okay. I don't care who wins. I care how they think about it and who really wants to win. You're thinking about this way harder than they are. I'm okay with that. Simon? And Simon's like, I'm just going to go with the stock model. I think this is the best possible design. I mean, they built the toy. They know what they were doing. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds like a science thing. That's the most. Yeah. Yeah, They know about engineering. Yeah, they they, they figured this out. All right. Tron engineering. Tron Chris steps between the two and the two little light cycles are placed on the ground. All right, gentlemen, ready to rip cords? Ready? Set. Winner gets both hostess fruitcakes, cherry and peach. Oh. Simon and Pink Eye are both looking at each other like, like, you know, honorable warriors, and both look to you. I pull out uh, one of my gym towels. Oh, perfect. And at three, I throw it in the air. They both pull the ripcords on the little bikes, which make that little weird whizzing noise. That they like, <laughs> and both of them go tearing off down the concrete. Uh, Kelso's wobbles a little bit and falls over. Uh, and... Uh, Simon's uh, blue uh, light cycle just keeps going and then pops off the curb into the uh, into the dry uh, into the parking lot where it falls over. So that, it that, technically went further. That's a clear winner to me. All Sorry. of the the, the 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 sports kids all start cheering and yay Simon! Woo! Sorry, pink guy. Because like, oh, lame. You need to put more dirt in this. You know, putting more weight in it would actually make it slower. Like, that was a bad idea in the first place. Yeah, like if it was on an incline, maybe? Oh, right, that only works with downhill derbies. Yeah, if you're going, like, for a straight shoot, you want to make it lighter rather than heavier. Do you pay attention in science class at all? No, we're not nerds. That's a good point. They're I, not Matt, nerds. Maddie just like hides her like ducks her face down, um, embarrassed, and also because she doesn't want anyone to look at or smell her, <laughs> <laughs> her clamminess. She, she's just like she's climbing on the inside and the outside. <laughs> she walks over. Oh, she walks yeah. over to um, Isley and she's like, "Do you have like or anything like that?" Um, hold on. I, I pull out like a whole like. Like a handful of like change and like hard candies and wrappers and just like throw it all in your hand. This is the second time I've gone to my coat and there ain't crap in it. And you're not spread cheese today. <laughs> you're, you're not king of mints. <laughs> no, <laughs> Raider still would have like a lot of change and weird stuff. There's like mints. There's like just other random. Yeah, you got like two loose 
Lifesavers, 71 cents, uh, a box for a bar of hotel soap. But no hotel soap. But no hotel soap. Um, a chewing gum wrapper with a part of a fe- telephone number on it and a plastic army man. Was, did you say that there were mints in there? Uh, there's two, well, like, there's two loose red, uh, lifesavers. Are they in All right. Are they in That's kind of what I was saying. Uh, like, like, out of the wrapper? No, they're out of the wrapper and kind of quit it. Tracking oh. error. There is one peppermint. It's but like wrapped. It is wrapped. It's like uh-huh. classic peppermint. It's very extra spicy because it is a gag peppermint. <laughs> well, Maddie doesn't know that. This is true. <laughs> She's gonna... I'm, I'm letting you know for acting purposes. I gotcha. So Maddie unwraps the peppermint and, New and, and, for acting and puts purposes. it in her mouth. <laughs> and immediately her eyes start watering. She's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that lowest, uh, uh, lowest passive again. <laughs> that one's the nine. That's a nine? Yeah. Uh, you, you, you're you going to throw up if you keep this thing in your mouth. She just spits it out. Why? What's what <laughs> that about? She's just crying. It's that too was, spicy. It was so spicy. Why is spicy. the government spicy? Can I ask, it's wait, all I, because I, of me. <laughs> can I ask if Camille will see if I have anything in my coat that yeah, would sure. be smart? I, like, I look at the wrapper and I'm like, oh. Oh, no. Eleven. But she's still she's still holding like all of your change and stuff in her one hand. At this point, the crowd is dispersed, uh, and Nick DeGarmo is handing over to you, Isley. All right, we're going to Toys for All. Either after school or at lunch. I got a plan. I think we can win this thing. I mean, I like the idea. If people are betting peach fruit pies and cherry fruit pies. It means they're going to bet money, dude. They're no, you're bet right. Money. And, it and it's either you and me or Clifford and Sawyer who are going to get on this first. Let's get the jump on them for once. Let's go there lunch. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. You got me a bunch of botched ones. By the way, an 11. Going through the pockets as he's... Uh, you have a, uh, a plastic baggie with three aspirin in it. Doesn't that help? <laughs> Wait! What? I just so mean. You asked me, I thought you were looking for breath mints. I need that too, but I also have a really splitting headache. I have gum if you want it. Yes. Ow. The gum yes. is good. It's big oh, red. Yeah. Here's two aspirin. Does anyone have anything to drink? Oh, yeah. Pull well, a water bottle. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Gulp, gulp, gulp. I'm so sorry. That was, that's my... I knew that. So sorry, Matt. <laughs> Why? I didn't realize that was in there. That was, but you didn't do that on purpose, right? No, 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 no. Not to you. <laughs> Donna, you are approaching as you see that there was clearly some sort of big group thing like that is clutching, now splitting up. Clutching my books to my chest in the way that I do. Uh... I'm wearing a little, like, corduroy. I'm wearing a little corduroy overall jumper. Give me a perception check. Uh, okay. Pink. Uh, oh, very perceptive. 10, 15, 18. You do not trip over Pink Eye Kelso, who is crouched in front of you. Uh, and trying to empty dirt and action figure pieces out of this blue plastic What thing. is his first name? Donnie. Shut up! Oh, hi. Uh, I won. What, what, what did you win? He just hands you a cracked yellow plastic toy that you don't really... You think it might be from that Tron movie? That's uh, like one of those motorcycles? What happened to your guy? Oh, that's um, Maximilian from the Black Hole. Uh, he, uh, he's pretty heavy, you know. But why is he all... <laughs> did, did you... Did you, did I needed you to fit him in the. He, I. He grabs both and then just runs away. D- including the piece that I have in my hand. You're still holding like one of the legs of Maximilian. Oh. I I put it in my little overall Aww. pocket. 
and then head over to the group. They're not too far away. They're just over by the bench. Hey guys, what's morning? Oh, Maddie. Oh, Maddie. You you really. Oh, are, are you okay? Hit the sauce last night. <laughs> you really are getting pretty hard last night. Are, are you all right? I have a headache and I smell like. Clams. Don't get too close, Donna. I, is that the hair of the dog you Nana mentioned last night? I uh, get some some like, Kleenex out of my backpack. More like smell okay. the dog. I that offer work. I offer I Maddie a Kleenex. Because when you drink, you drink what bitcha. I just were you bit by a dog? You no, bit, not at, were you bit by a clam? Yes, she was. She's just like, really, like clam? She's like getting wetter and more embarrassed <laughs> yeah, the I'm, more this is going I'm on. Like she's, we're kind of she's, she's putting, yeah. She's kind of weird. She's putting her jacket up over her head like so. I understand that this is an audio podcast, uh, but I've just put my... What is this? Flannel? Is shirt? Yeah. My flannel up over my head as if it was a jacket without a... She's, she's doing a solid cornholio. <laughs> yes. Yes. She had cornholios, but also without the intention of cornholioing. Maddie, maybe we should go to the nurse. No, because then the nurse is going to know I drank, and then I'll get in trouble. Well, just say that you have, like... Be, then they'll make me be in an after-school special. No, they won't make that you be in an after-school special, terrible. but maybe we can get, like, an ice pack for your head? But I smell like clam, guys. I want to go home. I don't want to be here, but I have to take that... T- I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry I wasn't here for the test yesterday. Neither were Neither any were of you. Yeah, we I all was, have to make a pass. I was the only okay. one there. We, we all the class. We all oh, good. Okay, well, I want to. I need to be there for the makeup. So I just, I can't. I can't miss school. But I smell. I, 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 this is really bad. She's like crying. I, I, I give you some more Kleenex. I'm just Kleenex, like like a magician pulling out handkerchiefs. I'm, <laughs> I, am I with the Kleenex? Um. Maybe maybe we should go to the nurse and see if you can go home because you're sick from eating bad clams. That makes sense, right? Like, uh, let me smell your breath. Yeah. Are you sick? No. Because no. if you if you don't smell like well, you have the thing you drank last night, smell then you're like fine. Gum. Right. I'm so, it's every- oh right, you all. I like put my hand on her head, but I, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I've just seen people do that. <laughs> Feels like a head. Just, just run her. <laughs> Feels like a head. <laughs> I, I punch Raider in the arm. Sniff my hand. Gross. <laughs> Ma- Maddie, You're the grossest. Maddie starts crying harder and like runs off. Oh, oh Donna definitely chases after after Maddie. Well, that was Dude, awkward. that was so gross. No. Ugh. Yeah, for him. No. You don't just put your hand on girl's head. I seen if she was sick. The bell Ooh. rings. Ring. All the kids start running into the school. I try to outrun all of them. You're <laughs> ten feet tall, it's not hard. <laughs> I use, I use this like, opportunity cool. to fart. <laughs> <laughs> ah, mercifully a loud noise. <laughs> gross! <laughs> so gross. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, choice. Terrible. I have to hold it in all day. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. Who needs that kind of stress? <laughs> so, lunch, you coming with? Yes. It's not a bad idea. Try to pick up stuff as much as possible. So, uh, the kids are all, like, sort of making their way into the school and, like, going to the various, uh, homerooms. The day proceeds more or less normally until about third period. Uh, third period, uh, Lauren, uh, Raider, and Donna are in... Mr. Max, uh, history class. Mr. Max? Mac. Mr. Mac. M-A-C-K? Just M-A-C. His name is really Mr. Duffy, but everybody calls him Mr. Mac. Um, all three of you give me a perception check. Ooh, all right, that is 10, 17. 17? 14? 16. Uh, okay. Um, Donna and Raider. You guys are looking over and, like, right behind his ear, you can see a trickle of blood coming down, uh, like, Kelso's neck. So he's, like, sitting in one of the... He's, yeah, he's a little problems. bit. He's in the middle. You guys are sort of more towards the back. Okay. How close is Raider 
Are we like sitting next to each other? Uh, you're like one person away from each other. I scribble. Actually, you know what I do? Um, I am going to scribble a quick note. Okay. Uh, to Kelso. All right. Um, you dropped this. Are you okay? Question mark. And wrap it around uh, the leg of the action figure and like push it towards Raider in the in the direction of uh, of Kelso. Sitting between you, of course, is Zach McGlunk, who just grabs it and reads it. <clears throat> oh yeah, fine, thank you. <laughs> oh. I'm like, no, and I I start motioning and pointing towards. He just motions and points back at you. Kay. Right back at you, baby. <laughs> and then I scribble a second note. No, the note is for Donnie. And I, like, thrust it at him with a bit of a scowl. Zach is aggressively chewing on that action figure, like, now. And, like, with it sticking out of his mouth, takes your second note. Takes the action figure leg out of his mouth, looks at it, looks at you. Why are you going to give this to him? He doesn't even like this flavor. (laughs) (laughs) And and I'm like trying to do that like whisper yell. At this point, all three of you notice that like, yeah, there's there's definitely blood on the back of uh, Kelso's neck. No, it's fine. He keeps like reaching up and like sort of scratching the back of his head. It was Donnie's action figure. He, he, he left it behind. I wouldn't put it Zach looks at it, looks at you, looks at it, looks at you, drops it, and then runs screaming out of the room. No! Uh. Mr. Mack looks to the rest of the class. Uh, can I help you all? What is going on here? Mr. McLunk, Mr. McLunk, please come back to class. I, uh. He looks over the rest of the, and then kind of zeroes in on Kelso, who is aggressively scratching the top of his head. Mr. Kelso, can I talk to you out in the hallway for a minute? And Kelso looks up. Yeah, I just, uh, I just gotta, uh. Oh no, bro. Oh, no. So. Pika has lice! <gasps> Catches fire. The entire <laughs> oh. room's like, oh, big guy has lies. Big guy has lies. Big guy has lies. Shut up. up. My, no, I don't. He's like. I get up from my, my <laughs> desk. I'm, like, back, I'm just, just like flat against the back wall. I'm just like, like, like a hand, like, like leading him out of the room. Like, no, you, you definitely do. And like, <laughs> oh, you definitely do. We're going to take you to the nurse. Everything's going to be fine. Shut up. You guys shut up. I don't have lice. As soon as they're out of the room. Capiro turns to the rest of the the rest of the room and is like, "Oh, that kid definitely has lice." Oh no, is this new? We're gonna get lice. Oh, uh, I think I already have it, and I'm gonna just shoot. So, should we call Simon him? is should in we... the front, like, "Yeah, we're all gonna get lice." Should... Oh, this this haircut is state of the art. I can't. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to really get tricked for it. You just rub mayonnaise into your hair. I I can't put hair. mayonnaise in my hair. It's like for ten minutes at home. My dad has the governor coming by next week. It rinses out. It's like the like, super conditioner. I'm gonna look like a sandwich. You can rinse it off. Well, then what's the point? It, can we it, just say I did it? It condition. It condition. <laughs> sure. It's already gross. Well, if it conditions you, why don't we just use conditioner? I if, I turn to Raider and I'm like Nick DeGarmo's like says what it's the, the hell governor? Is it's actually the state comptroller. Six of one, Maitland. Six of one. <laughs> Watch the polls. Hey, Cappy. I know I, what I, direction I Delaware scowl. is going. Relax. I, I give a skeptical look at, at Simon. <laughs> hey, Cappy, should we call him Lice Eyes now? Oh, that sounds terrible. Lice Eyes. Lice Eyes. <laughs> it's mean enough to be funny, but... I don't want to think about that image, you know? I'm just rubbing my eyes. Lice in your eyes? Oh, God. Oh, God, yeah, it's... I I gotta go, and Cappy just stands up and walks out, and at this point, like, the door is open, and Mr. Mac comes back in trying to sort of maintain control. All right, everybody settle down. Everybody settle down. We're We're gonna handle this, okay? Just stay where you are, okay? Uh, we've sent... Mr. Kelso to the nurse. 
Everybody, it's under control. Trapped in there. Um, who else is in the class? Tabby Gibson. All right. Perfect. Tabby Gibson, the like sighs and goes to sit back down at her desk. And when she goes to sit back down at her desk, there is that little, just the tiniest little worm guy just crawling across it. Like trying to move, <laughs> like, like, a, like an inchworm, like a normal inchworm. Like, like an, well, because lice the when they fall out, like oh, the, there's an there's actual, an actual piece of lice. But like when they fall out and they're still in their larval stage, oh, like a little, little like, inchworm kind of. Oh, okay, so, so essentially a maggot. Essentially so, a maggot. The second she takes notice of that, she screams, <laughs> flips the table. <laughs> And runs. <laughs> and Mr. Axe like, <clears throat> Miss Gibson, Miss Gibson! Ah! All right, everybody settle down, okay? Nobody move. And you hear outside of the room, uh, Mr. Walcott, like, Miss Gibson, where are you going? Uh, now the school is starting to devolve into <laughs> some level of chaos. Like that my, chaos? My eyes are all red because I've been oh, rubbing them because no, I don't want, don't, don't I, don't want eyes. Eyes. I don't want eye lice. I don't want eye lice. Warren, why did you say eye lice? So I don't worry about lice because I have the mayonnaise trick. You just rub it in. I don't want to put mayonnaise in my eyes. I don't want to put other mayonnaise have, in my they, eyes. They, lice can't go in your eyes. I don't know you, that that's true. I Nick looks over at you like, yeah, we have like eyebrows and eyelashes. They could definitely get there. Oh no, I don't want my eyebrows. Everybody rub your eyes. And everybody's rubbing their eyes really hard. <laughs> rubbing them real, real hard. <laughs> In math class. <laughs> uh, who's the math teacher? Uh, Miss Flaherty. She is teaching fractions. She's like, okay, four fifths minus one sixteenth. Come on, you've done this. We did this just last week. Scream like a Doppler scream as somebody like runs down the hallway. So. Both of you guys give me a perception check. <laughs> that works so well with the stereo effects. Oh, about what he usually gets. Uh, 12. 14. Uh, okay. Uh, um, you heard the scream, as did most of the class. Yeah. You heard the scream and you're like, that's, that's Tabby Gibson. That's yeah. one of the, the cheerleader girls. Why and is one, one of the popular girls. Screaming? Uh... <clears throat> I turn and I say that. Yeah, I said that too. <laughs> Sorry, she goes back to the lesson. She's about five more minutes into the lesson when uh, Coach Perry comes into the room and, like, you know, goes over. Uh, uh, Cecilia, can I talk to you for a minute? And she comes and they start murmuring to each other. You guys are trying to listen in on what they're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. um that's not a great role. Never mind the buzzcocks. As a word, no. <laughs> Six. Oh, oh, oh it would be active, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's your well, uh, highest passive. It's your oh, trying. Oh, we're doing perception well, checks? Oh, oh, no, you're, you're actively right. trying to listen in if you have an Backing ability to do that. If you're redoing that, that's more than the six. I, mean, um, I would argue check and mate. Yes, okay. Thirteen. Yeah, you're you're aggressively trying to listen to them, so it's a... Now I have oh. to get up and look at what I have. Wow, those, that's, on six dice, I managed to roll all ones and twos. That's great. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen? Nine. Um, you're really not getting any of it. You're getting little bits of it, and you're getting, like, you definitely heard the word lice and oh. assembly. Oh, that's a good place. That's a great idea to do when there's lice in the building. Let's have a, let's have an assembly. What? Lice? Yeah, and oh, an assembly, which is a bad combination of things. I shouldn't have come to school today. I should just stay home with my clams. Tracking air. Tracking air. Somebody else hears mice. <laughs> 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 Melanie Sheedy, front of the room, already on her table. Oh my God, are there mice? <laughs> No. This school is so gross, you guys. No, Melanie. Oh my God. Melanie. Oh Melanie. my. Mel God! <laughs> Melanie, it's not mice, it's lice. 
You have lice? Taffy. Ew! Oh, Maddie oh, has God. lice! Not me, Taffy gets it. At this point, the entire room has erupted in this flare, and it's like, everybody calm down! Calm down! And then there's a loud shrieking sound as, as Coach Perry blows the whistle. All right! Everybody settle down! <laughs> I want you in straight lines! This group, this side, this group, this side! You can just see in his eyes he's back in now. <laughs> I'm seeing it. Sir, we're in a line. I'm sitting at a desk. <laughs> Speak when you're spoken to, Private! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> All right. Coach? Everybody, under control. Okay. We're, we're not... You, the hungover girl in the front. Yes. You have a question? Does Tabby Gibson have lice? Nothing is confirmed at this point. As the enemy reveals itself... We will have further knowledge of the enemy's position and location, as well as motivation. <laughs> and Melanie is already just seated, like, on top of her desk, clutching it like she's, like it's about to take off like a rocket. <laughs> we know it's motivation. Its motivation is to get into all of our heads and dress up all of our hairdos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't have motivation. The blonde is correct. That's probably true. There are lice. They don't really have a lot of motivation. All right. Everybody stay here. We will check back in at 0800 hours. And he storms off. It's, Isn't it? It's, it's, it's 1030. <laughs> this Flaherty is like, he always says that. I don't think he knows what it means. Is the coach, is the coach okay? <laughs> the coach is in another place right now, Miss Ramos. We're going to just let him ride that. Oh, so he called her a blonde. She's brunette. No, I think he was talking to Tammy. Mel uh, Melanie. Melanie. Oh, I thought he said... Yes, I think Melanie blonde. is also a brunette, but... You know. Doesn't matter. He just doesn't know... Blonde. He's just he's in it now. <laughs> Canonical. The coach is colorblind. Yeah. <laughs> You're all blondes. I'm going to call the boys Daves and the girls Debbies. That's a different Kelta. Um, all right. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, they've, they've sort of locked down the room. Miss Flaherty goes back to the board. Um, all right. One uh, sixteenth, four fifth. She just erases everything. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got about five minutes until the end of the period, at which point you will be going to lunch. <coughs> uh, Story time! Isaac just yells out, story time! She looks over at you. And does this. Just does that angry teacher stare. Still this. Oh, so, uh, Isley has a wide open, stupid, shit eating grin. Uh, and then he has his head in one hand, trying to look as cute as possible. <laughs> Do you have something to share with the class, Mr. O'Keefe? No, I was, I was wondering whether or not he would tell us a story. <laughs> Daddy is looking at you. When 116th and 5 eighths love each other very much, <laughs> they produce what, Mr. O'Keefe? Um. Oh, um. Um. A paper airplane hits you in the cheek. Yes. <laughs> you unfold it, written on it. Uh, in Sharpie is carry the two and a hastily drawn Eddie from Iron Maiden and in the back sits just throwing the horns at you. Sid um, Clifford surprisingly good at that. Yeah, that was actually real good. <laughs> That's a weird uh, callback. <laughs> what, what, would that be um, 11 sixteenths, ma'am? <sighs> Mr. O'K and then the bell rings. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, it is, uh, it is lunch period. Um, the lunchroom is, uh, quieter than usual because everybody's a little bit anxious and there's a lot that weird heightened paranoia about, like, sitting with your own group. Um, uh, who's the smart ones? Um, Raider, yeah. Donna, and, uh... I'm not especially smart. Hi. And Maddie. <laughs> Maddie is, is top brain. Out of us five, yes. I'm the smartest one here. Yeah, Maddie's the brain. Yeah. I 
Was, but I'm saying, yeah, the three. I was a spelling bee champion. So. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, Raider, Donna, and uh, and uh, give me you three. Give me perception checks. So, Donna, Raider, and Maddie. Yeah. Six and six is twelve. Sixteen. Smartest. Once again, proving smartest. that spelling bees are for smart people. Yeah. Um, you guys uh, have noticed that rather than having like a big uh, auditorium, they're bringing in groups like you know six kids to like eight kids at a time to the nurse, which is sort of standard protocol. And she's checking everybody for lice. Okay. There's um, definitely lice. There was an announcement about nobody sharing hats. Oh, yeah, yeah there's definitely lice. Uh, you guys haven't seen... Uh, you guys haven't seen Pink Eye since... You know. Oh. <clears throat> Maddie is sitting up as far on the table away from the boys as possible because they were standing really, really close to Pink Eye earlier. Hmm. So Maddie's like... Uh, like, and she's also a little bit uncomfortable like, because his raider touched her earlier near her head, and she's like, "Oh, what if I have like oh, that?" No. So she's she's been uncomfortable all day, and she's been, multiple. This days. entire day yeah. is just mad. I will say that you're you're feeling a little bit better because you know the grease from your your grandma's cooking has mitigated your hangover a bit. And I no longer smell like clams because I chew gum. Yes. Now you smell like minty clams. No, nice. well, it's, no. it was big red, so cinnamon clams. Cinnamon, cinnamon clams. clams. I'm so, Clam- that's clam-a-mini. disgusting. No, does, no. Clamity. Does the school salt ice cream? Huh? Do this? Does the school salt ice cream like? Bite? Uh, definitely not like scoop. I, I would say you can. You can get, get an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, yeah. They have those, those yeah, yeah. Or the little, or the little cups. Yes. Oh yeah, with the little wooden. With the wooden spoon. Thing. Yeah. So I, I like before I sit down, I kind of drop one in front of Maddie, and then. I go and take my seat. All right. That was adorable. She like looks at you with like kind of heart eyes. And then she, like, <laughs> I mean, I fell back. Heart about. eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Maddie, you should go out with them. What? Y- yeah. Raider? Yeah. Because <laughs> nobody. You'd be, you'd be like, cute together. What? So you guys like are eating. all sitting at a uh, at a table together. Um. And I there's like, change. you know, there's like the burnout table and the the jocks table, the popular girls table, the nerds table. I'm not here right at all. Huh? I'm not here at all, yes. Why wouldn't you be here? Because I'm skipping lunch with Charlie. They go on oh. with, uh, you're uh, waiting for... Uh, for, uh, for not Charlie. Um, Nick. Nick, yeah. With uh, and while you... I would say you're here now, but uh, okay. you see that Nick and Zach McClunk are making their way over towards him. All right. Having broken off from the burnouts and the nerds table, respectively. So there's a solid Venn diagram there, I'd say. Yeah. And Zach immediately sits down, uh, opens up one of those ice cream things, and is aggressively spooning the ice cream down his throat as Nick stands behind him. Hey, guys. I need to borrow uh, Isley for a minute. All yours. Okay. Sure. All right. He takes you, like, off to the side, looks around surreptitiously. Uh, Okay, so, um, there's a lot more heat because of the ice. Yeah. So, maybe after school. Oh, I mean, it made sense. Unless you want to duck out and, like, skip class, but I feel like they're counting us now. They're going to notice. Yeah, I mean, after all, we did the yesterday. Yeah, I... I, They're going to figure out something. If they call my dad, he's going to kick my ass, so I can't... I gotta gotta stay on it. Speaking of that, I look at Sid. All right. The moment that he says that, I look at Sid. How's he look? (laughs) He's... Like, got half a sandwich in his mouth, he flips you the bird. Uh, <laughs> got, he's got a black eye, but, like, that could be from anything. Probably from his dad. Yeah. Uh, hmm? A broken arm? Uh, yeah, no, his, his arm is in a cast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a moment of wanting to, make, wanting to see exactly whether or not he was in any sort of distress. I mean... His eyes are just kind of like... I, I his usual... Like, Something. Yeah, no. there's something going. All right, 
Um, yeah, that made sense. Uh, I guess we could. Yeah, we'll wait. If they have to drop on us, they have to drop on us. But Maddie said something very smart to me. Doesn't she always say, like, Good point. Math stuff? But listen, <laughs> in comparison to our actual thing that we're trying to do. We're trying to, to dominate the Tron motorcycle racing yes, circuit. Yes, they're lighter. Dr. Elias Thorne Junior High School. If they're lighter, they're faster. So don't put an action figure in them at all? Maybe not. Well, we're going to have to go to the judges. I mean, and or if not, we Chris Egan's sort of taken over that. We open it up, we might be able to see whether or not there's anything else that could lose weight. Excuse me, we cheat. We need. Of course. <laughs> we need to replace all the metal stuff in it. With plastic bits. With plastic bits that weigh nothing. And that thing will go off like a bullet. Exactly. It might go all over the place, but still. Hey guys, what are you talking about? Like he's just sort of wandered over. Of course. We're gonna cheat. Uh, oh, oh! You're gonna fill it with molten lead, so it goes really fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should tell Sid that. <laughs> Why would I tell Sid that? Just oh, he's just gonna put me in a hammerlock again. Well, not right now. Okay. But if he tries to put you in a hammerlock to say what we're trying to do to make it work, that's what you tell him. So what are we doing? We'll show you later. Oh, it's a conspiracy. I like it. Yeah. Okay. You guys see those scientists today? Weird day, right? Bugs in our hair. Scientists in their school. All right. Wait, 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 I'm going to go wait, wait, get a tomato sandwich. Time out. What? Scientists? Yeah, there's like scientists in the uh, in the office. No, There was going to be an auditorium about it, and then they said not to do it. Nick, did you see this? He just shrugs at you. How much did you hear in the office? I don't know. I ran when I heard there might be bugs in my hair. My hair is very important to my self-image. I'm a beautiful man. So, uh, I just <laughs> lost my mind at the idea that maybe I wouldn't uh, have it. Just imagining the bobcat. Oh, yeah, it's uh, totally This child bobcat is the cutest thing yeah. I've ever seen. So I ran off because I was panicked about not looking like my beautiful self. And I had to talk to Mr. Booker, but he was already talking to somebody about uh, one of the, you know, one of the, of one of the Fairview girls. Fairview girls? Yeah. Oh, she went screaming. No, no, not, not Tabby. Uh, Tiffany, the one that hasn't been to school. Oh. Oh, yeah. What has happened to Tiffany? Mm-hmm. That's weird. Maybe the lights got her. Maybe. Anyway, tomato sandwich, call my name. Do the tomato sandwich. Mm. And he stomps off. Okay. Nick That's just watches fine. him go. That guy is crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's real. What do you think happens at home to get something like that? Nice. <laughs> he seems happy. Yeah, he does. Right? But there's got to be something wrong there. Yeah. Like, maybe they... Maybe it's something in the water. I heard a rumor he has two dads. No, I think that'll do it. And four moms. Ooh. And one of them's an octopus. Or I think that bit's wrong. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least, that one. Not right. Well, I mean, in the end, we go and we get the stuff. Yeah, dude. It made it make sense. Yeah, dude. Made everything a lot lighter. Yeah. But we have to find a way to make sure that it keeps going straight once you actually turn it. Because if it's all wobbly... Shit, whatnot, shit, shit. And he starts backing off as you see that Billy Sawyer and Sid Clifford are making their way over to you. All right. Turns. <sighs> Sid! What are you two homos talking about? Oh, nothing, but I do want to talk to you about something. Yeah, I'll bet you do. No, thanks for the help in the uh, math. Huh? Yeah, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool, good. man, cool, man. Thanks, so, uh... You guys talking about this this Tron bike thing? It does look cool, doesn't it? I have an idea. Oh, all right. We're gonna cheat. 
<laughs> from out of nowhere, a one of those paper footballs lands right at the back of Sid Clifford's head. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't us. Awesome. It sticks in his hair because he has that like that like crazy Dave Mustaine like nest. Uh, and you notice it, and Billy notices it, but Sid doesn't. So he just keeps talking. I'll let Billy. <laughs> so you want cheat? Yeah. Here's my idea. My old man likes to go fishing, right, man? Okay. You get a bunch of those weights from his fishing thing, stick them down in the plastic so it goes really fast. Oh. It's little lead weights. Man, that's wonderful. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at science when I apply myself. I once taped an M80 to another M80 to another M80 to one of those little Dixie cups that I rolled over and I filled it up with cotton balls and gunpowder it blew up yeah oh man I watched Mr. Wizard so man I know what I'm talking about alright no I I believe you that made sense if we go heavier then heavier is always faster yeah it's a Pinewood Derby the hell is a Pinewood Derby it's the things that they put put the little car and it goes down the chute and it's it's all fast is this like Boy Scout crap yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Billy, you have something to tell Sid. Billy's just waving. <clears throat> uh, uh. It's pudding day. <laughs> so it's like, all right, rock on. Uh, somebody roll three dice for me. Oh, oh. tracking error. Never mind. <laughs> no, that always. I was gonna me. say another paper football. Lance. <laughs> 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 This is just that, Absolutely, yes. Uh, somebody roll three dice for me. I can do that. Uh, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Billy goes to grab both paper footballs out of Sid. Instead, just grabs a handful of Sid's hair and just causes him to go, as he's walking away. <laughs> Sid <gasps> turns around and just decks him. Fist fight. Oh, yes! no. Yes! All of a sudden, like, there's teachers running in, everybody... Uh, it is a complete havoc in the uh, school lunchroom, and we will stop there. <laughs> oh.